Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to do the unboxing of this MX Anywhere 3 mouse from Logitech. The highlight of this mouse is that you have the option to use the USB receiver and also Bluetooth for connections. And also you can adjust three uh, devices and you can switch be between them uh, spontaneously. It is really interesting how it works. I will show you guys also uh, on the mouse how you can switch between the devices. So let's get it started and open this uh, box here. So let's we can put the package aside now. What we have inside. It's sim like straightforward. We have the mouse inside. It feels nice premium definitely the buttons are actually large here i didn't expect that i thought it would be a small button but they're really large the wheel is also really nice feeling when you is like uh, trying to turn it in the side you have some soft rubbery material which feels nice also when you hold it in your hand the size is also really good it's not flat and it gives a really ergonomic uh, feeling for the mouse it's a little bit also that I mentioned, you can see it's a little bit bright, kind of, like the, and the bottom. Now I can turn this out, you guys can see what is in, down there. We have the switch on and off button, and here you guys can see it. Now it's trying to pair it to the first device. You have like three options when you can switch between them, just pressing that. If you want to uh, like, uh, use the Bluetooth, connectivity you just need to hold it for the three seconds then you can pair it with your devices that also uh, works fine i will showcase that also later how it works what comes in else inside of the box as i said you can use the usb receiver or bluetooth that's also one of the main features of this uh, mouse now this is the usb receiver and what else we have? We have the cable for charging it. It's a USB-C to USB-A. And also, it's also good that you can charge it using the USB-C. That's also a really important point. And the cable also feels nice. There should be also some paperwork, definitely. Yeah, there's also some paperwork here if you are interested for that. So let's look at it one more time. I want to showcase what buttons you have on the mouse. You have one button here the wheel and also you can press the wheel then you have also two buttons here that you can use your thumb to uh, use them but you have to adjust them most probably what functionality you want in the windows and mac you can definitely do that and the bottom you have the switch on and off and you have here the pairing and you can move between three devices here so really easily and from here you can connect it to the usb -C. now i will try to pair this mouse with the lenovo combo duet in the background you guys can see it if i move the mouse here i use this usb receiver to connect it to my macbook i'm running windows there and everything works perfectly it's really smooth it's really nice the feeling compared to the other mouse that i had now i will try to pair it with my other device let's do start with it I just need to go to the settings and there I need to search for it. There I need to go to the second device here. Now I will hold it. Actually that works automatically. You don't need to hold it. It comes actually here really fast. And now it's coupled. You can see that the light also indicates that now it's uh, like uh, connected to this device. It's in the second device, third device now is trying to connect. I don't have any third device right now. So now I have in the first device. If I turn it, it will be in the first device, which is the, the monitor. You guys see it's connected to the Mac here. Now I can switch to the second device. Now I'm moving in the Lenovo Chromebook to do it, as you guys can see. So switching between them is really easy. Of course, um, some features in this mouse it's called flow from logitech but that in order to enable that i need to soft install a software on the windows and the mac then i can copy paste all this stuff and move them around between these operating systems 
Unfortunately, that doesn't work in the Chrome OS as there is no software that you cannot you can install on that. So you need a Mac or Windows for that. So for a small comparison, I wanted to compare it to the other mouses here. This cost like around 70, 80 euro. It's a little bit more expensive than this one right now, but this is also cost also actually 80 euro, but you can buy it now for 60 or 50 euro. But when I want to compare them as a functionality and how professional the mouse is, this is like a like really, really premium and the professional mouse compared to the other ones. Why? I really say that. Here you have just single pairing option. So with just Bluetooth, one Bluetooth device, one Bluetooth. Uh, uh, every time you want to change between the devices, you have to pair it. It's really annoying. And when you come back, you have to pair it again. This mouse, same thing. It feels also nice, but it's too flat. It doesn't feel nice to work with it. And this one is the cheapest. Actually, it works much better than these two from the Microsoft, in my idea. It's around like 15 to 20 euro, but it works much nicer. It's a bit loud when you move it around in the wooden surface here. But this also has the USB receiver. At least you can just take it out and plug in another device. And you don't have this hassle of pairing with Bluetooth because in here I have to turn it, I have to hold it three seconds, then I have to go to Bluetooth settings. It's really frustrating and having the USB receiver like this is perfect. In this mouse, you can switch between three devices. I showcased that also with the Lenovo here that I had. It's it's more professional. It's definitely more professional. And if I hold it in my hand, it feels really nice. And uh, also when I move it around, it's not that loud. Let me compare it to this one. You guys can see how loud it is. It's also, this is wooden surface, so it would be a little bit loud, but in general, it feels really nice in the hand. So I would say don't waste your money on the design of these mouses. From the Microsoft, they look good. They have a really appealing design, but this is a real mouse here. These are more like a decoration that you can look at it and they look good. So what can I say right now? If you're in the budget, go for something like cheaper. Don't waste your money on the, the surface mouses that I have here. Don't let the, how they look like fool you. And if you have the money, go for this uh, MX uh, Anywhere 3. There's also another mouse from Logitech, which they are really also more premium and professional mouses. Logitech is also doing this for a long time. They are, they know what they're doing. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys in the next one.